monkey's the eye in the sky. He sees everything. Look at you, with 200 followers, thinking you're a big deal. Do you know how many people follow me? Do you know how many people worship me? you know how many people respect me? Do not even make eye contact with me. Look away when I look at you and bow down when I walk by. That is a mentality of a 2024 social media influencer out there. Now, personally, I hate the world influencer. Last time someone called me an influencer, I threatened to smack the living shit out of them. I'm not even kidding. Because if you think about it, what, what am I influencing? You know, anyone with followers are going to be like, influencer, oh my god, if, what am I influencing? We just sit here and we talk shit. But in the past four years, I've been in the industry, hanging out with content creators, hanging out with influencers. And to give you guys a little bit of context, I'm sure you already know this, but if you don't, let me, let me tell you how influencers are. And when I say this, I'm talking about 80 to 90% of them. There's still 10, 15% which are very humble, which I see like Sam Sulik, Abu Fallah, and uh, like Penguin Z and all these guys. But how do most influencers feel the second they start getting, doesn't matter, I'm going to say between 50 to 100K followers. Immediately, it's like they get injected with some royal blood. The way they walk next to you, it's screaming, I'm better than you. It's like when they're walking up next to anyone, they're like, they always feel they're above them. Why? Because I have this many followers on Instagram. I mean, I kind of feel the same because, you know, 10,000 subscribers, I'm better than you. But I've been to many events over the past few years. I've been to a TikTok events, YouTube events, I don't know, Snapchat events. I went to like two YouTube events where a lot of huge creators were there, like 5 million, 10 million, 20 million subs. And they were all like based in GCC because, you know, I live in the Middle East. And I'm not even kidding. The whole time I was standing there, I had to show up because I had a contract with YouTube Shorts. But the whole time I was like this. Because they walked like they are royalty, like there should be a carpet uh, in front of their legs once they walk and I am better than you everyone is looking at each other's numbers everyone is judging and gossiping not gonna lie I am there for the gossiping but not, not that yeah actually I judge I only vibe with like few people in my uh, circle who are uh, like in the content creation industry now that you have the context about the influencers nowadays with a stick up their ass and they think they're the shit today I came across this one video which Really pissed me off and I wanted to talk about it. Wannabe influencer thinks he can do anything because he has followers. What is wrong with you people? They're asking me. Back up! I don't even know this guy. Be quiet, but you're okay. I'm famous, you're not. So that doesn't make you anybody. Imagine you get into an argument with someone and your all offense is I am famous and you are not. I mean, it's, it's really insulting if you honestly say that to uh, someone. The other person literally should work so hard to be famous so then he will have a chance to be as good as a human as influencers are. Now, to give you guys a little bit of context about what is this whole thing, apparently there was a VidCon. I don't know where, but this was a VidCon event where people come to meet their streamers, people come to meet a couple of YouTubers, influencers, TikTokers, whatever. <laughs> I swear to God, if I go to a VidCon and if any of you show up, I'll make fun of it. Imagine coming to an event to scream my name. If you go to this kind of events, you really need to reevaluate your life decisions. Personally, I've never been to a VidCon because if I see people with stupid ass outfits, I am going to judge them and roast them right in front of their face. And apparently from the way it looks like is they're letting people either slowly in or they're is full and everyone has to wait until some people exit so they can enter. Now this guy comes up and he's like, I have, I am famous. You, you, you don't know, you don't know who I am. I will have all of you fired because I have 10,000 followers on Instagram. And that makes me a better person than you. A lot more money than you. Okay, so wait, wait, what? Bro is coming in strong with his second line. Pa, I have more money than you. Honestly, the security guy should drop his badge and leave because there's no comeback to this. This is the ultimate <laughs> off. <laughs> you're not famous. You're irrelevant. You're irrelevant. What the fuck? Irrelevant. You're irrelevant. 
and you're ugly. Now, when I first watched this video, I was like, okay, there's no way this can be your, there's no way there's a human being who is acting this way. It should be staged, but the more I watched it, I believe this is real. And the guy filming it is just some random guy decides to just film this whole thing. Or it can be his friend and he's fishing for followers by insulting a security guy guard. Because apparently with Jack Dorty, Neon, these kind of guys, the more hate they put out on the internet, the more people hate them, the more famous they get. Same like Nadia doing Call of Duty. People hated her. She got famous off of it. I guess that's one way to get famous. I'm attracted to spot. I make a lot of money. Oh my god. At this point, I don't know how the security guy hasn't smacked him already. Back away. Back away. This is why I believe he crossed the line and I hope if he is a streamer or a TikToker, he lo he sounds like a TikToker. But I hope whatever community he has, they truly watch him because you, you don't know what kind of like people you watch them on camera. They can be same like these YouTubers. You know, the, your favorite YouTuber comes out, a boom, a pedo. A lot of people can be different in front of the camera and off the camera. Whole different person. That's why I don't fuck with the uh, content creators much. Because I see them off the camera, on the camera. I was like, you really put all this act for like a few hours and, and filming this? <laughs> Like, get the fuck out of my face. You make no money. Look, what are you wearing? You're disgusting. Kill yourself, please. Dude, out. dude, that's not cool either. No, no, don't no. say that. I don't even know who this is. Shut the fuck up. Did he ask you? Okay. He, um, he was working. Shut the fuck up. That is too disgusting. Hey, you're ugly as fucking irrelevant. You make no money. You're <laughs> I bet he thought he looked cool roasting this guy and he thought he's going to get the attention of all the people around them and he's going to be like, yes, I am this influencer. But the little that he does, you know, the people were laughing at him, not laughing with him. No, I need someone like that. Yo, I like the thing you did today. Right. Now, I bet your brain is farting a little bit. You're having a little bit of confusion. But he says, dude, I like the thing you did today. Very good. This is the guy that told him. Yes, the video started by him, this blonde guy embarrassing himself in front of the security without us having any context on what happened. But the way it looks like is it's full and you are not allowed to go inside because, you know, capacity. People come out, you go in. That's the way it looks like. You, even though, even if the worst thing happened, this security guy took him, dragged him, threw him out, embarrassed him, spat on his face. Doesn't matter. The way this guy comes back and says these things, you're ugly, you're ir irrelevant, do you know who I am? I make more money than you, you look ugly as shit, go and alive yourself. I swear, if, if I was in that security guard's place... Now, I'm not a parent, but if you're about to be a parent, you're, or if you're already a parent, I will tell you my experience as a child. It is okay to take your slipper and whoop your kid. Is there something wrong with me? Well, yes, but no, like I know how to respect people. I, I turn out great. This is, I think I turn out great. I feel like until the age of 10, 11, the kids need to eat slippers if they speak up or disrespect the parents or disrespect anyone basically out in public. So they will learn, they will be disciplined. We're turning into an eight passenger YouTube channel. I promise there's no kids down in my basement that I'm hiding who are duct taped, don't worry. Oh my god, I just care about people. So this whole thing, he did it for the people. Honestly, if you're not following him, you need to follow him now. I'm not going to look for his tag. You go find it yourself. But he cares about the people. He's doing this for the people so the people can go in. But this guy is a true hero to the public. And one thing we learn about him, maybe he's a you know, shithead, he's a dickhead, but he is a people's person. He cares about his community and he's going to do everything in his power because he's a very famous good looking guy he'll do everything in his power to i don't know let people in he cares about community yeah well yeah that was it for today's video but promise me if you're going to be a streamer youtuber content creator whatever if you got if you're starting up and you're getting followers or if you're gonna get followers in the future promise me you will not end up like this i don't want you 
I don't want to make a video about you. I said this on my other videos as well. Just having numbers on an account on a social platform doesn't make you a better person. Take away those numbers. What are you? We are, we are all humans. Just because I have 4.8 million followers on TikTok, does that make me better than you? No. Does that make me richer than you? No, I'm actually very like poor as fuck. Like you guys have no idea. <laughs> but alhamdulillah, does that make me smarter than you? Fuck no. End of the day, this is why I believe in. This is my favorite quote. Treat people the way they treat you. Someone's nice to me, I am nice to them. Someone tries to attack me, I am going to destroy their life. We need some YouTube drama. I might pick out some random guys on YouTube and be like, bitch, <laughs> we're gonna start a war or something. I don't know, man. But we stream on Twitch almost every single night, uh, 10 to 11, like around 10, 11 p.m. DXP time, UAE time. I don't know what is it, what time is it in your time, but we usually stream around two to three hours if you wanna hang out. We talk about stuff, we watch videos. Talk about drama, news, whatever it is. We play some video games. Would love to have you there if you're about you like down to chill. But yeah, take care of yourself, and I will see you at the next one.